Now, a privately owned spacecraft is on course to make history as it attempts to land on the moon. If it's successful, the Odysseus would become the first commercial craft to land on the lunar surface and the first American vessel to do so since the final Apollo mission more than 50 years ago. Let's speak to our science correspondent, uh, Jonathan Amos. Jonathan, always good to talk to you. And there have been a lot of um, space missions uh, over the last few months, haven't there? What's particularly significant uh, about this one? And, and, and where are we? I know that the landing was potentially, it was pulled back, it was going to be maybe in the next hour, it seems to have been pushed back again. Yeah, we, we, we're sort of back and forth uh, a little bit uh, this evening. Uh, currently, the projected time is 23.24 GMT, so it's about three hours away from now. Uh, they're obviously making doubly sure that they have this craft, uh, Odysseus, in the right order to begin the descent uh, to the moon. That'll start about an hour and a quarter before the projected touchdown time. There's a lot riding uh, on this, um, as you alluded there to, Sarah. This is uh, an attempt to make the first commercial landing on the moon, a private company. So although it's uh, carrying six NASA instruments, uh, intuitive machines, the Houston-based company is in charge. It's built the lander. Um, it you know, bought the rocket. Uh, it's mission control is in Houston and it is in charge all the way there. NASA is a customer. It has paid uh, intuitive machines 118 million dollars uh, to get its instruments to the South Pole. Uh, but of course, we haven't seen the Americans in, in any guise, whether commercial or government uh, backed, uh, put down on the lunar surface softly uh, since Apollo 17. Quite extraordinary, really. Um, you know, Gene Cernan, Harrison Schmidt, uh, they left the moon in 1972, December 1972, to come home. And the Americans have not been back since. So there's quite a bit riding on this. And what's the significance? What are they, what are they trying to test out? What are they hoping to, to show or to, to explore in this mission? Well, the key thing here is that they're going towards the South Pole. So they're going to about 80 degrees south. Uh, nobody's put anything down uh, that far south before. We had the Indians have a fantastic landing I think well, it was August last year, something like that, wasn't it? They went to about 69 degrees south, but this this will be the you know the the furthest south that anybody has been, and it's a really interesting part of the moon. It's it's very rough. Um, there's a lot of mountains there, but there are craters there that are permanently shadowed. Sunlight uh, in some places has not fallen on the bottom of those craters probably for, well, certainly hundreds of millions of years, maybe billions of years. And at the bottom of those craters, maybe water ice. And if we're gonna go back to the moon with humans, which is NASA's plan later this decade, they might want some resources. And water ice would be the best resource that they could have because you can use it. Water, you can use that for drinking, for sanitation. You can split the water to make breathable oxygen. You can even make rocket fuel. So um, this is part of the big return to the moon, human return to the moon that we're expecting this decade. Uh, it's extraordinary, isn't it, to think that the Americans haven't been to the moon, uh, what, since 1972. Um, but we're, once again, due to land, how long? What, what, what should we be looking out for? And, and is everything going OK so far? Are, are we able to keep across how it's going? Yeah, they, they, they brought, intuitive machines brought the landing time forward um, and then they pushed it back. So that's, they didn't explain why they did that. I mean, maybe they just wanted to, you know, dot the I's, cross the T's before uh, they went for this effort. Because once they start that descent, um, really, they've got to go with it. Um, and, you know, it's, it's going to be knuckle time, right? I mean, it's, it's difficult. It's not easy to land on the moon. A half of all attempts fail. And even if you consider the modern, the modern era, this century, uh, if you like, we've, we've had 11 attempts this century. Um, six of those have failed. Uh, so it, it's, it's tough. OK, well, fingers crossed, Jonathan. I know you'll be watching it intently and um, be able to bring us all the expert analysis of, of how it's going. Thank you.